uh, we have one public commenter tonight, uh, Maggie Hayes. And I have this for me. Thank you. And the middle seat has the microphone. So j just to uh, go over the rules for public comment, you have three. Uh, please state your name for the record, and you have three minutes to, to speak to the council. My name is Maggie Hayes. I live on Charlotte Drive in Normal. Um, I'm here to talk about the condition of Class Act properties on our street. Um, beginning in October of 2020, at least myself and I know some others brought issues to the inspections department in March of 2021. The town told me that significant accumulations would result in uh, the legal department assessing fees. In June of 21, I began involving Pam Reese on complaints and photos in December of 21. I began involving the mayor and town council. Um, and I want to say that I am out of town, out of state, five to six months out of the year on a good year. And so what I can speak to is mostly what I've seen myself. Um, Class Act in April of 21 and June of 21 assured us that there would be weekly cleanup and they had a commitment to maintaining their properties. Weekly cleanup seems to have been abandoned within months. Um, they do occasionally clean up. There isn't anything going on regularly, even till today. Issues not only have not been resolved, they seem to have escalated. Um, there's a blatant disrespect and disregard by Class Act Realty for the residents of Charlotte Drive and an increasingly sadistic and retaliatory quality to their actions. This is reinforced and encouraged by the equally persistent failure of our town to apply effective sanctions for their chronic code and nuisance violations. There seems to be a quid pro quo of some sort between the town of Normal and Class Act, a conflict of interest which protects and emboldens Class Act at the expense of other taxpaying residents on Charlotte Drive. None of you live on Charlotte Drive, not even close to Charlotte Drive. No one from Class Act Realty lives on Charlotte Drive. They are treating our street as if it is their personal garbage dump. You've made tolerating their slovenly standards for our neighborhood a condition of living on Charlotte Drive. It is stressful and it impacts our quality of life. This is not an issue between residents, but I'm the most vocal, but I'm not the only one, and Class Act Realty, and no one where the town and Class Act were, have been respons responsive to the issue, as both Pamela Reese and Kathleen Lorenz have tried to reframe this as last week, um, as of last week. Um, I am not meeting with Class Act Realty. This is not an issue between myself or other residents and Class Act Realty. This is a code enforcement issue with the town of Normal. None of you live on our street or near our street, and in spite of your positions with the town, you have no pro apparent proprietary vested interest in its condition. You would not tolerate these issues in your neighborhoods. You wouldn't tolerate them in downtown Normal. Class Act Realty is not a class act, and Charlotte Drive is not their garbage dump. I have some pictures. They are not all inclusive, but they are representative. These are the dumpsters that are a chronic issue, not every day, not even every week, but no weekly cleanup of the several dozen units they have there is occurring. So that's the dumpsters. This picture here is uh, a picture of the back of their buildings from Shelbourne Avenue. It's not uncommon for residents in those buildings to drop a bag of garbage on the front street on, on the uh, curb or in the front yard, like when they're going to their cars. <laughs> Class Act doesn't clean up promptly, uh, and eventually... He says, I'm going to ask you to wrap it up. You exceeded your, your time. I'm almost done. Um, I especially want to see everyone to see the pictures. 
the trash that the animals get into, the eviction leavings that they left on our street for days until the town of Normal cleaned it up. Ms. Hayes, you're, you're, going, case, you're going to have to stop now. Hmm, you don't want to see all of this? We, we'd be happy to see them, but not in public comment. We have time on this. Well, I'm going to leave them here because other people might want to look Sure. I move to extend the time three minutes. I'm not sure if we... Can we I'm do almost that? done. Go ahead. Um, but I'm going to ask you days, to, to be brief. Two days after, two days after the uh, eviction leavings that I showed you, this appeared on the street in front of a different building where I'd also sat for days. This is from May of 2022. Also sat for days. The tipping point for us was last two weeks ago, I guess it was, when class act employees filled the dumpster with things that weren't garbage. Uh, they were doing a remodel or something. These pictures were taken by my neighbors and provided to the town and to the uh, to class act, or they called class act is what they told me. They also dumped this pile of carpet and uh, carpet pad by the side yard. So my neighbors complained to class act. Ms. Hayes, I'm going to I'm going to ask you to stop now. Uh, we okay. certainly understand the the situation. If you'd leave those pictures with us, and we do have your written report. Mm -hmm. I actually have a composite <coughs> that I'm going to leave with you, Mayor. Um, aside from the carpet that they then moved into the front yard. Ms. Hayes, I'm, I'm going to ask you to stand down, please. Okay, I will do that. I want you to know that the Panagraph has got all of these as well, and they have the emails, and I hope they write an article because I think a light needs to be shown on not only what five factors they're doing, but on what the town of normal is not. That's my agenda. There it is. Uh, that concludes our business here tonight.